Hello everyone, it's Katie Jo with the Soil Bar here. And as you can see, I am going to be separating and dividing into cuttings as well as smaller plants, this beautiful, very rare global green or green global pothos. So this right now is probably the rarest pothos plant on the market. Um, you know, I know that that varies from state to state and country to country, but as far as where we are here in Georgia, and from what I can see online, it's very hard to find. So the thing that really distinguishes this guy is it's got this lush green dark color, and then it's got this, well, that's bird poop, um, variegated coloring that's kind of shaped almost, I, I think of it like the globe of the world, um, like the continents almost, um, but there isn't any blue. Maybe that's why it's a green globe. So you have the dark green and then the slightly lighter kind of limey color green variegation. So it's a really beautiful plant propagates just as easily um, as any pothos as you know with any time you're working with a variegated plant the darker the variegation the easier that guy is going to have um, with growing and ma maintaining so right now i am just taking like here's the root ball and this is how i i don't have to be too too delicate with pothos just kind of getting my fingers in here in these spaces and i'm separating and i'm just kind of wiggling and you just kind of want to take it slow. Another technique I do is roll it in my hands like this. And so then I'm just twisting it side to side. And then eventually, as you can see as I twist it here, now it's kind of come apart. And I'm, I'm kind of twisting and rolling. I've found that that works. Okay, so now we have one chunk separated out, as you can see here. And then here's one that's uh, separate kind of doing that roll and, and twist technique, get the excess dirt off. So here is a nice um, cutting. It has some roots growing there and then there's the base of it. So that's one really nice little section. I'm gonna take off the excess dirt because this is from the, the um, grower. So I don't ever, ever, I always change it to the soil bar uh, mix. We're gonna be using today our Chunky Mix, which actually has Lucca in it as well. It is great for Aeroids, Monstera, love it too. But first I'm just gonna um, see how many plants I have. So I'm gonna set it aside in another bucket and then move on. This one, this little piece here, this has got a couple of different cuttings. It kind of looks like they wove together. So I'm just kind of seeing if I can separate them. They wrapped around each other's roots. And if some roots break off, it's totally okay. It's gonna be fine. Um, this one is a little wobbly, but it's still intact. And there's the root ball. See what I mean by that color? So cool. And then this guy here, this might, I think it's two. So I'm gonna, I'm just separating it, kind of like unbraiding a braid, um, getting the excess soil off. This one's nice and long. See, it's got, it's branching out from there. It's just a really interesting color that this one's got. It's nice and healthy too. There's another piece. So there we go. Already we have almost half the plant separated. And this will quickly fill out. Um, right now they're all, they all kind of squish together and as we put them in smaller pots it'll quickly fill out that space pothos just love to especially with this mix that we put it in it's just gonna be like oh my gosh it's gonna think its life has just definitely been upgraded which it has okay so as oh it looks like it's two actually I'm, I'm loosening it yep so there's one with roots and there's another one And, you know, plants take a while to, to grow, right? I mean, it's not gonna happen overnight. So you don't, separating your plants like this, like we're doing, I don't advise doing often, unless you're like wanting to give them to friends and you don't mind your pot getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's better to just upsize your pot and keep your plant together. Unless in this case, like I'm, ha I'm changing out all the soil, everything, I might as well separate it out. And also um, because we want to share this with a lot of, a lot of people. So 
in and I will link in the description below to our shop and our um, actually also our link tree and it had that has access to our shop and all of our other social media pages so there's another piece and we are done so that is all of them so now I've got them all separated uh, look at that and this next I try and do this next step right away getting them in their new soil so here is the, the potting mix and um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to have at least one hanging basket though. It's a small, so I'm going to take like a small six inch pot and I always put a little bit in the bottom first like this just so the roots have somewhere to land on that isn't plastic necessarily. And then this one is a really healthy, you can tell by this thick stem here. I'm going to hold that one kind of in the center. I'm holding it at the level that I want it to sit in the pot. And I'm just going to start covering up its roots. And now this, this part can be a little tricky because I'm going to hold that one there. And then this one I'm going to kind of hold with my other fingers. Make sure the roots are in the pot. And I just want to get those roots covered up so it kind of anchors it. that where I want it and then I'm just turning it and I'm like okay I'm gonna hold those there I'm gonna place this guy in here so I've got them spaced about an inch apart and then it'll look a little sparse at first but like I said it'll fill in pretty quickly with this mix because it's nice and airy and it'll really be able to explore and kind of grow into this pot I'm going to add one more cutting, or not cutting, it's actually a rooted plant on this little side right here. So I'm just making some space. And then I want to pick one that's going to be a good one that's starting to trail. And it'll, so it'll flow over the pot on this side. Something else you can do is you can get like a fat Sharpie um, and use it with the cap on, of course. Um, you can use it to poke holes in here and then place your... Um, rooted plant pieces in those holes. Uh, I do that sometimes if I've got one that has it's very fragile and delicate I don't want to crush the roots. So this guy looks a little weird right now I know I realize but like I said he'll fill in this pot pretty quickly. It's, it's still a beautiful plant and then, so then I'm just going to add the the three uh, tiered hanging pieces with the hook so that this guy can go ahead and hang up. And one last thing I will show you guys, although I probably won't be doing it for this one just because this is a pretty young uh, plant, but I'll take a couple cuttings off of here. So when you take cuttings, what you're going to do is you're going to go in between the nodes. So a node is, let's see, the inner nodal space. Actually, this one's perfectly perfect example because right here where this root is coming out, that spot right there is a node. And you can see them, there are little lines right there on the actual vine itself that will be where that node is going to come from. So you, you want that node to be left intact. So I'm going to cut on each side of it. Right there. And I'm going to cut right here because my next node is up a little farther. So there you go. So that's a one node cutting. So there is a plant and it's already rooted because it's got a root growing out of it. So there's one and now here's my next my next piece so I'm gonna cut right here it's one leaf it's got a node and this is my remaining piece so this end piece here unfortunately sad as it is it's got to go because there isn't a node to cut in between of on the very end so that one won't grow a root but this one is still good but this guy as you can see here Sometimes there might be root that grows out of there. I just throw them away though because nine times out of ten it's not going to grow roots for me. So then I can um, pot up each of these because they already have roots in them. I could propagate them in water, but I've got an established root system. I can just go ahead and pop these in the pot. So there are three separate plants plus see, this was the original plant that we took it off of. So one, two, three, there's four. And I can pot them up all together like this and it'll just really fill out. 
So that is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested um, in one of these plants, the Green Global or Global Green Pothos, I uh, check out our shop and I'm sure they'll go pretty quickly here, but um, all of our available plants are on the, our Facebook Marketplace shop. And then there'll also be other links to our other social media pages. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments below or message us separately. If there's a certain topic you'd love us to review, um, we would be happy to do so. So until next time, bye.